Netflix just released an animated series so queer, it's literally called Queer Force, abbreviated to Q-Force. The talk amongst the community is that the show is at times guilty of some stereotypical tropes. Reaction amongst the Alphabet Mafia has been mixed. Let's see what I think of the show. Apparently people have been saying this is like Gay Archer. Okay, within 15 seconds, I immediately notice the tropes that people were referring to. I don't know any gay men who refer to everybody as bitch. I know they are out there, but the hi bitch, bye bitch, this, I, this, was this show written in 2001? I feel like the lead character has been watching a lot of Nicole Richie and Paris Hilton footage. Is there any animated series in existence that doesn't use the bad guy from Pineapple Express? That guy's voice is in everything. Of 30 new cadets who are about to enter the field as covert operatives, including an all-time record two women. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the show is funny. Take it away, Agent Death. Thank you very much. Love Wanda Sykes being in this series, playing a big old butch lesbian. That is the best thing about this show so far. The body is a 2006 Subaru Outback. Plus, it's preloaded with Tracy Chapman's entire discography. So you know it's a fast car. Living for the Tracy Chapman references. Also, I did not miss that they made the team car a Subaru. Why is that paper towel dispenser texting us? Oh. Yeah, that's just like an example of something Archer would have done better. I don't know how, but why is that paper towel dispenser texting us? I get the joke. It's supposed to be that this person is so young, they don't recognize a printer. I'm just saying, Archer would have done it better. That boy's off of the assistant manager again. You're so much more than a mechanic, though. Um, way to put down blue collar workers. I actually think mechanics are better than everyone else because people who know how to fix cars, those are the actual powerful people. When I go into a mechanic shop, they could just charge me for anything. And I'd be like, oh yeah, um, replace reverberator in the second quad of the carb engine. Yo, okay, what am I gonna do? Argue with like, yes, I have to pay it. Like, mechanics are the powerful people in our world. Oh, oh, oh. Don't mind me. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed all your towels last night. Yeah, we did. Okay, I'm... I don't want to just pile on, but the, the joke with the nudists seems to be just laughing at big, big people. Is that, the, am I getting, the, am I missing something? This show is definitely not going for the super, like, highbrow jokes. <laughs> like, let's just say it. Find a case. So who's got one? Counterfeit Crocs are flooding the market. Counterfeit crops are flooding the market. Okay, they definitely have a lesbian writer on staff. Need I remind you that they're too soft for active duty? What if somebody sprains their pronoun? <laughs> okay, what if somebody sprains their pronoun is actually that's a pretty good one. Ariana Grande ought to cause quite a stir in the Abbey. The gays love me. Do 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 the gays love Ariana Grande? Is this when did that happen? Why? I'm not hating. I'm just like, why? Is it the hair? Death, fire up the mirror mobile. Please. Her name is Subaru McClanahan. <laughs> Subaru McClanahan. <laughs> I repeat, Wanda Sykes is the best part of the show. Shocker of the century. Lesbian favors lesbian character in show. We host sunset. No OJ, extra grenadine, two lime wedges, splash of soda, sugar free cola, grapefruit bitters, 12 cherries, two frozen grapes, petals. I feel like straight people think that's what gay men like to order, when in actuality, it's like basic B girls who order stuff like that. Gay men drink vodka tonics with a lime. Do not move one inch. I will make you pregnant so soon. Don't move. I will make you pregnant so soon. <laughs> Do you think the Russians will mind if I steal that line for myself? I'm gonna use it on my wife tonight. <laughs> Oh yeah, super realistic exchange, bad guys. I know anytime I've purchased illegal 
drug. We always exchange the goods like we're holding up a candle in the night. <laughs> Here, take it. I hope nobody sees this. I guess we better pack up our and head out. Okay, I waited almost the whole episode to say this. Why don't they just soothe it? Isn't this supposed to be set in modern times or nobody could do this nowadays? Soothe it. I don't care if it's the NC double black ops, whatever private, like anybody who sends you a piece of paper that says, hack up your you can sue. And don't screen my calls. The Subaru of people. <laughs> the Subaru of people. Wanda Sykes had like 15 Subaru jokes in the first episode, and I loved every single one of them. <laughs> Gary Cole. That was his name. The guy, the bad guy from Pineapple Express that's in everything animated ever. <laughs> okay, real first impressions. I'm gonna keep watching this for Wanda, and spoiler alert, because my wife says it gets better after the first episode, which. I think most shows get better after the first episode. I also really love there's an animated series dedicated just entirely to queer characters that I think is really, really awesome and really, I don't know, I just, I'm kind of really happy. I can't help but smiling that there's, it feels like there's so much more queer content out there than there was even like a couple of years ago. So I spent a lot of time bashing this series, think, like everything I said, I stand behind, but I also want to make sure you all know that I do appreciate how important this is. Like, I don't know, has, has there ever been a whole entire animated series dedicated to queer characters? I feel like the answer is no. Episode two is entitled Deb's Barbecue. I'm literally mad I can't immediately watch the next episode. So that should give you a pretty good idea of how I feel about this show. Was the first episode perfect? No, not even close. But it did the job, it introduced us to the characters, and somehow, some way, even though there was like 1400 stereotype gay male references, I want to watch episode two. Let me know if you've seen the series what your first impressions are. All in all, I'm pretty high right now on Q-Force, but it's not perfect. Don't go out there and tell people it's perfect because they will tune in and be like, <laughs> like, just be like, it's all right. And then people will tune in, be pleasantly surprised. And here we go. We'll get a second season. Maybe. All right. I've been Amanda. This is my really gay YouTube channel. I'll see you next video.